Hey guys, welcome back to Ganty Plans. Uh, today is time for my monthly planner flip through. I um, haven't filed my nails in a while, except for this one. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit redundant since I did my 2021 setup, but I actually have moved a couple of things since then and added a couple of things. So this is uh, where we are. I'm in a Moterm A6, sorry, A7, the pocket size, and still loving it. I really just like having all of the wallet uh, stuff in the back here. It does take up some space on the rings, but it's okay. It keeps me minimalist, which is good. First, this little cover from Marlene's Plan to Create, which I think is not active anymore. Then this acetate is from Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, it's brand new to me. And I already showed you this in the 2021 setup, but we've got just a little bit of lettering for fun. Uh, and then this is a, the monthly for January, just right off the bat. This is a insert number 14 from my shop, the dated monthlies. So these, uh, it comes in a three month bundle, but I just printed out, um, just January. And so I have weekly to-do lists on this side and then a general to-do list on this side for things that are not date specific. And then yeah, just dates and it's split up by week. Then I've got my one line a day journal. This is a one thing, one year, one thing tracker from my summer touch. So I just kind of keep track of where I am in my one line a day thing. Having this page here reminds me to do it. Um, and I don't have to do it every single day cause I can go back and refill it, you know, as it is. I might put in another one of these for a podcast I'm doing. This is insert. Oh, you know what? I don't know off the top of my head. No, I think it's maybe insert number five from my shop, the level 10 life spread and going through this and sort of evaluating some areas of my life and setting some goals was a really great way to start off the year for me. Um, and then I picked one of these goals to be my goal for the month. Um, and then I'm already taking a couple of notes here on how that's going. This is insert 11 from my shop. I like to set a monthly resolution instead of an, a new year's resolution because it's a lot easier to do something for just a month and that way you can kind of reevaluate and get towards your goals and also if you mess up once it's not the end of the world uh, my waiting on list is in the front here so that's some things that I'm trying to not forget about so I try to flip through this front section pretty frequently and then and this is just because I needed a place to put it but I printed this out from an online graphic um, we are trying to sleep train our daughter right now we're on well, I think we're on day six tonight, actually, because day two, she didn't cry or anything. She was perfect. So I just skipped the, like that day we, I did day two's windows on day three because day two, like didn't count. She gave us a really easy time that day. Not so much last night. Anyway, it's, it will get there. She's actually pretty good. Um, then I put some project tabs in the front. Cause like I said, I like to sort of start from the front and work my way back. Um, and keep all of my to-do lists in the front. So this is my list of things I wanted to declutter, front, which is my monthly resolution. Um, sorry, right here. This is all color coded as you see. You know this? Environment, declutter, declutter, declutter. Um, but I think I've run out of things to declutter. I think I'm happy with how it is more or less, but I'm kind of reorganizing the kitchen cabinets this week. So maybe I should write that on this list. Anyway, next top tab, it has my um, craft projects, which in theory I'd like to get back into, but also like not the end of the world and not a huge deal, not top of mind right now. So it's probably not going to happen soon, but I really need to work on this knitting project and some cross stitch. And uh, this first side tab is my weeklies. So these are my daughters. I know, aren't they? It was a Christmas photo <laughs> after mass and her hair is already messed up. Um, this is insert O2. So I have two different weekly inserts on my shop and you'll see both of them here. Um, they are both with like split so that you've got weekdays on one side and then weekends on the other. Cause I definitely have different things going in my life on the, during the week and on the weekends. And so I have a couple designs that try to make the best of that. So there's a habit tracker, which I have not been great on keeping up with my habits. I use this spot on the left for like where the kids are, <laughs> uh, what we're having for dinner, what I'm doing in the evening, stuff like that, what laundry load I'm doing. And then 
this is the week I'm on. The nice thing about these two inserts is that they're actually um, like mix and match compatible. So this is actually insert 22, sorry, 21. Um, this is the right side of insert 21 and the left side of insert two. So I didn't have to reprint them out back to back. I just decided to do one week that was both of them and then try out the newer one. So this was just released in my shop in the last week or two. Um, so it's got like an actual to do list here and then less space here for like decorating your weeklies. Um, so I've already put a couple of tasks here for next week, uh, but I haven't started using that yet. So I can't tell you if I like it better or not, but there you go. I definitely felt like I wanted like a weekly to do list instead of just space over here. And then there's room for a tracker. Um, and then this, you know what, this is actually back to insert two. So insert 21 has checklists on the week weekend and you can choose, use it as one big checklist if you want to, you know, cause it just says weekend, um, where Saturday, Sunday seems to be more, I, I kind of think of it more as like uh, event focused in this version. So either one you like, um, those are both available in my shop. Next top tab I have back here because I wanted to put dailies in and I thought I should have a place to put them and I wasn't using the top tab. These are the top tabs are usually for projects for me. Anyway, I threw in some dailies here. So this is insert 19 and it's got a top three general to-do list and then two like boxes. I'm using them for all kinds of stuff, tracking my pumping, dinner, laundry, my evening like to-do list before I go to bed stuff. Um, and then it's got a little bit of a time ladder here. And then over here, this one is insert 22, which is new this, uh, this month as well. And it has a full time ladder. It varies a little bit ver uh, based on size, but the pocket size does have 12 hours. I think half letter also has, sorry, 24 hours. Half letter also does. Um, but the other two have like two lines per, per hour, but not the full day. Cause you know, generally you don't have to worry about that overnight anyway, but so I've just got a big blank morning, but if your day is not just like work day. Sometimes it's nice to have space like after work or before work for your morning and evening routines. So the to-do list is narrower in this version and you only have, at least in pocket size, two different little boxes here instead of two big boxes. So there you go. Both available. And I've just been doing a purple theme. This, um, I, I threw bookmarks in here. I haven't had bookmarks since I was like in a, um, you know, I, I think I may have had them after I started rings, but it's been a while. So this is just marking my place where my current daily is. Pray for my grandma. Um, and then back here I have a post-it with all of the food that we have like ingredients to make. So I'm crossing them out as we're making them. That's basically how I do meal planning, but I am actually going to be working on a, an insert for that. That's going to be released next month. Probably it's going to do this better for me and hopefully you too. This next tab has um, all kinds of reference -y things. So first my library books, they don't have to do lists or do, sorry, due dates right now. Um, so it's just a list right now, but in theory you've got due date and then the renew uh, you know, when it's renewed to, and then when you return it, um, that's insert 16. I have a general to watch list and on the back is with my husband. We haven't really been lately because we've both been, I've been working on creating inserts and he's been working on playing uh, Demon Souls. So that's what we're doing in the evenings. Uh, I have just a list of gift ideas and a general wish list for myself. Um, and then this guy here, it is, is it listed? I think it is listed as a breast milk tracker on my shop, but it can be used for anything. It doesn't say that, but basically I've been using this to meticulously and anally keep track of how much I'm pumping while uh, during the workday. So on the left section here, you see at my four different pumping times, what my output is in ounces. I've been trying to do an evening one as well. Last night I didn't, but then I ended up not getting much sleep anyway because of a crying baby. Over here I have, okay, this is how much the babysitter starts with out with at the beginning of the day, how much she has at the end. So that's how much she drank. And then at the bottom of every day, I've got the overall, like this is what my entire stash is, plus what I pumped, plus what she drank, minus what she drank equals the new balance. So that's what I do. I'm a little bit anal about it, but this could work for any kind of inventory situation, I'm sure. Um, that's why I didn't put a header on here. And then this it holds a couple of extra pages together to 
make that a bookmark because I'm flipping to this at least five times a day. The next tab has my inbox, which is just for general notes that don't have anywhere else to go. So not used very often. Uh, we're doing a book club for Till We Have Faces by C.S. Lewis. So I just wanted to like jot down very briefly a summary of like what happens in each chapter for reference for myself. So we've read five chapters in our first meeting is tonight, or our first, I guess our second meeting, but our first actual like discussion is tonight. This is my garden layout. Um, and then this is my someday maybe list. I moved this from the front to the middle um, because I don't need to be looking at this every single day. So, and then this is my honeydew list. Also things that I've sort of asked my husband to do. So in theory, that's like on his radar, but not necessarily <laughs> happening, which is fine because I'm not doing it either. This next tab was for all of my Ganchi stuff, but I moved it. I took it all out of here and I set up a traveler's notebook and it was kind of on a whim. And so maybe I shouldn't have, but there we are. I have it in a separate planner, which I did last year too, at the beginning of 2020. I, is that last year? Man, it was only last year. Anyway, I set up a, um, it might've been two years ago. I set up a uh, happy planner for a while. That was a separate content planner. So that's what I've done, especially since I'm working from home, it's not a big deal to have a second planner on the desk next to me. So I can reference it, you know, even if I'm working, I can jot down an idea. Um, but yeah, so I still have this in here because it's a blank section right now that's not being used for anything, but that's what used to be there. And then the back section has my future lock from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, this is the and afterwards section, also from Peanuts Planner Co, but this is from like the freebie, um, like monthly calendar set. So it's the front and back covers look like this. So I just print just that. Then birthdays and anniversaries, adding a couple more of those recently. We have our adorable little three week old nephew. And then uh, this is my recurring tasks list. So this is insert number 17. And I've shown a little bit how it works, um, but, and I will continue to do so. In fact, I'll probably show it next week when I'm setting up my next, um, months plan with me. That's already next week. It's crazy how time flies, uh, especially when you're stuck at home doing nothing. I have one more tab in here that all of these uh, black and white, mo most of these are from Peanuts Planner Co, by the way, with the exception of this one. This one's from Walmart. No, from Michael's. Um, I have a few sticky notes. These ones are my favorite. And so I try not to use them very often, but these are post-it notes and they're actually two and a half by three. So they fit inside these rings without overhang, which is amazing. Um, and then these I use for my, um, I don't know if you noticed them, the indexes, indices, my sticky note indices. And then I threw a couple of jot pads in here too, just for some scratch paper. Um, but I actually did trim them because they're like a quarter inch longer than the page. So I trimmed a little bit quarter inch off there, maybe less, it's just a tiny little sliver. And then I have some spare pages in the back here. So this, no, not this one, this one and this one are both freebies on my shop. So you can check it out, ganchiplans.com slash shop. This is insert three, which is just a general checklist. Um, this is the two columns, which are fun to use for various types of things. This is a double checklist. I'm actually working on a triple checklist because I have a use for it. So maybe you do too. I may as well make it available to you. And then that's it. The back has some stickers and some wallety things. I've got washi in the front, credit cards in the back, and that's what we're doing. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, so the next one's going to be on Sunday. And then next Thursday is going to be, like I said, my February plan with me. So I'll see you then. Bye.